Dear friends, in this time of national emergency, we are all adapting to the strange and constrained circumstances in which we need to live our daily lives. The leadership of our church is working very hard to transition to new ways of working with one aim in mind, to keep us all connected and in touch and able to serve one another as best we can. We're quickly moving to becoming a virtual church using the gifts and skills of our amazing congregation to shift our decision-making and collaboration to online platforms. Our pastoral care is now being expressed through regular phone and video calls, emails and social media platforms in place of the usual and familiar face-to-face -face meetings. Worship is being resourced online too and we have a constantly updated list of links to worship resources for you to use. Prayer is being facilitated through a dedicated WhatsApp group. Arrangements are in place to help those self-isolating with deliveries of essential items if required. We've made great strides in the last week or so in pulling all of this together. And I can assure you that we want no one to be left out of this provision. If you would appreciate some practical support, prayer, or would simply value a chat on the phone, please do get in touch with one of the stewards or myself. As St Paul teaches, there is nothing love cannot face. I'm very well aware of the amazing work that's going on transforming the life of our church in the midst of this crisis, and of the sacrificial contributions being made to make this happen. I'm aware too of the great demands and burdens many of you are bearing. As we approach Holy Week, we travel together towards the cross, where God bears our pain and our anguish. So as we pray for and care for one another, as we seek to serve our community, and as we support those most directly affected by COVID-19, we are always full of Easter hope. God bless.